and seen. Abner Gabriel, thank you so much for the follow. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Am I off mute? I am. Hi. <laughs> Cookies. What's that from? Cookie Crisp? Wait, what emote? Hi, 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 Shasha. How's it going? Breathe in cookies. Exhale dynamite? I mean, I think this is gonna be pretty like, you know, clear cut. We're in, we're out, like easy peasy. I'm, at least right now, I'm not foreseeing, you know, any sort of mishaps or misunderstandings or chaos, like, I just, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have ourselves a chill gaming stream. It's fun. <laughs> we, we will never know. Easy, no problems. Per usual, I'm here to promise you no chaos, just chill, no yelling, no screaming, no murder. Um, okay, hold on. I am gonna make an exception for murder, but you may, it's not even murder. It's just to, if we come across the toe eater that somehow escaped our grasp last stream due to a little misunderstanding of who exactly was the toe eater, then, then we can... <laughs> then maybe that's where the exception comes in. Happy Valentine's Day and Sunday, Becker. Hello, Ray, I'm playing some Skyrim, but I gotta watch the stream. Oh no, I would I would pick Skyrim over the stream. <laughs> exactly, just your run-of-the-mill ordinary stream. That's it. Harmageddon, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Our toes, no, 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 your toes are safe. I promise your toes will be safe. Just they'll be more safe if we can just, you know, catch the toe eater itself. Whoa, bull, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> My first words today were happy Halloween, which is not correct. That's not the traditional holiday on February 14th, but I say just just whatever. Live, live your best life, Shasha. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling someone's gonna lose a hand with dynamite? No, I think this is not here with something bad with the dynamite ha happen. I don't think so. Rish Warrior, thank you so much for the follow. I don't know if that's intended to be like the word British said in a British accent, but that's how I'm gonna do it. Kind of typical they're doing a big NASCAR race on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know, just uh, like uh, NASCAR races, stealing dynamite, um, we do also need to speak with the Reverend, which is pretty, pretty timely given the new YouTube video that is up. Had <laughs> some Discord spam. Thank you, Rookie. Happy Valentine's Day to you, lovely people. Cooley, happy Valentine's Day to you. Becker. Well, okay, I think I just have to specifically tell you all that today was your last gifted sub. Thank you so, so much for the five gifted. Bjorn, Picket Fence, Mira, uh, Cowboy Reboot, and I'm Jacob. You guys all just got gifted subs from Becker on Becker. Thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Luciano, how's it going? <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I mean, I, I'm in, I actually am in orange. I'm not a real big, like, pink person, um, so I went with the next closest. Pink and red are just, like, I normally don't have those in my little, like, color scheme that I have for my life, um, so I went with orange, so I'm kind of, I'm supporting, um, ha Halloween today, I think. 
Faria, happy Valentine's Day. It's going, it's going good today. It's going good. Um, or well, it's going well and good. Having a cookie, hanging out, gonna play some Red Dead. Like, what a great day. Wait, I think I miss it. There is no, there have been no misunderstandings so far, and there will be none to come in in the following stream. So I'm dressing up as a single person today and waiting for the candy deals tomorrow. Those candy deals are so on point. Like if everybody were to just decide like, no to Valentine's Day, like, we're just no flowers, no candy, no nothing, like... Somnus! I seem to have something crazy in my ear. Was it me now having to say, thank you so much for the five gifted, but now you are done? That is it. <laughs> Boom. I, I I hope you're happy. I, I hope this made your day, because that, that is it forever. Thank you so much for the five gifted. That neat one. Dan, Abner, Gabriel, Luciano, and Vince Phillips. You guys all just got gifted subs from Somnus. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, chat. Hi, can do. Afternoon. Someone should prank Ray by getting her the jelly bean cookie with jelly beans that taste like barf. Ugh. And um, what, what are some of the other like Harry Potter? ones there's like an earwax right i just i like remember that Ugh. <laughs> discounted candy let's go i have my snack now what did i miss um so far you've missed two people that are unable to follow the rules here which is no gifted subs no donos no bits no nothing have some have some lawbreakers in the chat Ahoy, ahoy, Ellie. How's it going? Discounted candy. And it's like, I don't know. There's also, there's always like really cute, like wrapping on the candy as well. Like Kit Kats have like little white and pink wrappers and you just feel like so cute as you're having your like 12th Kit Kat in a row. Cause they're, they're, they're the small ones. They're the small ones. They're like bite size, you know? Popcorn is defo the worst jelly bean flavor. You would put popcorn, wait, ahead or behind barf though. Is it tacky to send someone happy Valentine's Day if we've only been on one date? This is, no, please note, this is an important question. Um, I say no. Like it's, it, because, what's actually, actually what's really smart about that is, just saying happy valentine's day you're not putting the pressure on of like having to ask like will you be my valentine it's just sort of like a hey acknowledging the day it's like a toe in the water sort of thing <laughs> i didn't know it was a rule my bad it's okay now you know viking i know that you were here when i just said no and you did it anyways. Thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. I am happy that the donos are working now though because it's the little like Emma Watson dancing gif and I love it. <laughs> no, I'm just doing homework over here. Mm -hmm. Hi Baker, how's it going? RG. I think Lonely Island had the right idea with Valentine's. Wait, what is it? Or do I not want to know? Any good pickup lines I can test out. Um, okay. I I I don't think I can get away with this because like I'm an old person, but I think it's so funny when people make like you look at like a snack jokes. It's a bo it's a boomer thing to say. I know I'm gonna say it, but oh, okay, yes, I know what you're talking about now. Hello, hi Brian, how's it going? 
Howdy, Mary, Mary Valentine's. Mary Valentine's to you, Baker. I hope it's been a good day. Oh my gosh, I actually did lie. I've got pink socks on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, so festive, look at me. I agree with the look I'm like a snow joke. I guess that makes me old. Like, uh, I, I think the one I'm thinking of is like, did you just fall out of a vending machine? Cause you looking like a snack. Like, okay, I'm, I'm dead, yes. How could Ray lie to us? I forgot that I was like, wait a minute, for Christmas, my mom did get me some pink socks. They're like leopard print, you know? Can you see this? But yeah, so I did lie a little bit, but I swear that's the only time I've ever lied to you. I haven't heard that one. I'm gonna borrow it. I highly recommend. I don't know if there's like a nicer way. I don't know. That's really not that mean. Did you fall out of a vending machine? Like, it's it's fine. <laughs> That's Dirk Dirk goes on the rest of their life. Trying to just make the looking like a snack joke. My crush didn't feel the same about me. It's okay, Smokey. Just eat more cookies and wait. Did you did you try the snack joke though? <laughs> did you try CPR? <laughs> Thems look comfy. They are comfy. My room has been like negative 20 degrees for the past like couple of months so they keep me nice and like toasty warm i didn't try the snack joke that was okay i'm not trying to speculate but i think that could have been the problem oh <laughs> i sent happy valentine's day i will inform y'all if this backfires we need updates shasha please thank you all of my pickup lines are not stream appropriate okay if they're not stream appropriate, are they somehow maybe not in real life appropriate? Fuzzy socks plus carpet <laughs> equals giving people static shocks. Okay, I absolutely, I need to keep in mind right now that I cannot touch anything uh, electronic because I just can't have myself electrocuting myself on Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's negative 31.7 real units. I don't know these real units you're, you speak of. I live in Fahrenheit and in inches, okay. Ray, I don't cookie often, so what is the best cookie type ever? Consulting the expert. Okay, this is... There, there's a lot of factors that go into this. Uh, like, so I'm gonna put a little like asterisk disclaimer. I personally do not think like a real homemade chocolate chip cookie like that you get from like a really good bakery that's using like good chocolate, like warmed up a little bit. I don't, th I don't think you can touch that. A very close second is a peanut butter cookie with Reese's like chunks in it. If you're looking for something that you could get at the store, uh, I'm I'm an Oreos girl, that's just me. <laughs> Ray shocks the 3080. If I were to hurt the 3080 in any way, like I would never forgive myself. Peanut butter cookies are so good. Peanut butter cookies, and I would also accept, rather than the Reese's like chunks in it, if it's stuffed with Nutella, also an acceptable answer. <laughs> it's, it's Ray style, exact. Might be hard to play a video game if you can't touch electronics. All right. My mouse feels safe, so keyboard, I think we're okay. Red velvet cookie after you warm them up for 30 seconds. 
actually being serious. I f it's so hard to find red velvet cookies. I feel like people don't make them for some reason because I feel like, I don't know. They go with the classics and it's like, listen, I gave my professor Nutella cookies for her birthday. Uh, peanut butter Nutella cookies or what are we talking about here? Peanut butter cookies must be the best. <laughs> they can be used as biological warfare against people allergic to peanuts. I do feel bad for people that have like serious allergies. Oreos is my pickup line. Sorry, Kate, by the way. Stole it. I can't wear my Adidas gym sneakers on carpet because I end up getting shocked by everything. What are they made of? What are they made of? What? How do you feel about cookie butter? Wait, what's cookie butter? I think the only time I've ever had cookie butter is at like, um, I've tasted it at like one of those fancy like ice cream places that does like the little blender thing and then they make like the little rolls. I think that's the only time I ever had it, but happy Valentine's Day, Anasov, how's it going? Yes, peanut butter and Nutella cookies. Did you get an A in that in that class? That's all I at least Ray wears pants while streaming. I mean, technically they're uh, yoga pants that I haven't ever worn to a single yoga class, so <laughs> good, thank you, good. Good, good. I'm surprised you're here. Well, yeah, I got some dynamite that I need to go grab. Very busy day today. I need to get into, I need to get into game, you know? Actually, one of the sub badges, can do sub badge, is um, is a red velvet with white chocolate chips because one of my personal favorites. I got a B plus in that class. What are they hate Nutella or something? I don't get it. How dare they? Okay, let us get into some Red Dead. <laughs> I feel special now. You're you're the only person that I can see right now that has that. K, by the way, has got the half dipped. Uh, it's actually very Valentine's Day appropriate. It's a sugar cookie that's like half dipped in pink frosting. I've only ever done yoga on accident. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's kill somebody in this Valentine's Day. Okay, very, very good point. Very good point. Let's try to do a killless stream today. Uh, I believe in us. I believe in us. So, because everything's going to be sneaky, you know? We're sneaking to get the dynamite. We're sneaking to sell it or whatever it is we're going to do with it, you know? Yes, it's gonna go fine. I'm not even like, uh, I believe in the abilities of us to not kill. Unless, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna make a little, a little cutout section here. Killing of bad people isn't really killing. It's like, it's like, um, providing justice to the world. So there's actually a difference between like killing and then um, bringing justice to the world. So <laughs> yeah, yeah to that. Uh, face planting with your hands full becomes downward facing dog kind of thing. Okay, the other thing I was thinking of is have you seen that show? Um, I think it's ridiculousness and there's the scorpion, like when your legs go like up over the top, like your chest and face is on the ground and then your legs are like up over you. That I, I personally have never seen that in a yoga class, but it could. So that 
Oh, lady, that witnesses you checking IDs as a bad person. Okay, she would only become a bad person if she were to go and like try to tattletale on us. Then that's where the crossover happens. I did the full scorpion on a snowboard last night. Oh my gosh. That hurts that hurts my old person body just thinking about that, Jeff. Are you sure that isn't Caporia? I don't know what that word is, so I'm gonna say maybe not. Raise a real light Yagami. Do I wanna know what that is? Ham proud? Light Yagami? I don't know what that means, but the fact that the word light is in it, I feel like should indicate that it's, you know, it's a very like wise, enlightened person with like good ideas and gives good advice and is very like centered and um, what's the last word I'm thinking of? Centered and I said the enlightened thing, the centered. I don't know. There's something in there. I love Vikram yoga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was checking this random dead body for IDs, but obviously that person that was going to go rat me out is the bad, is the bad guy because it's kind of like whoever smelt it, dealt it. Like somebody that is running to the police to say like, hey, they were looting a dead body. It's you would almost want to put two and two together and be like, okay, well, you tattletaler, did you kill the person? Like, I don't know. Seems kind of fair to ask. <laughs> right brings a lot of justice to the world. You know, I'm just I'm just one honorable cowboy trying to make the world a better place than I found it. You know. Ray with the Among Us strats. I have never actually played Among Us, but, but I feel like I would be really good at like sniffing out the situation and seeing like, see through somebody's lies. I think I could do it. Redbeard, thank you so much for the raid. What are you playing, Red Dead Redemption 2? What, where are you at in game? Hello. <laughs> it's pretty much everyone's Among Us logic. <laughs> Fart jokes on Valentine's Day. Check. Okay. So I gotta fix the sound because I guess you guys like to hear the game and stuff. And then put myself in the game. And then you see this. I see this. Mm. Excited to play again. Yes! Good, Baker. I just started... Awesome! That's awesome, Redbeard. You will... Uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on it, but I think you'll enjoy it. Okie dokie. Yes, I would. Thank you very much. That is a very lovely view, though. Okay. So, real quick. Let's assess. Let's assess what we got going on. Um, I mean, I... Yes, I can talk to the Reverend while we're here. Companion. Wait, what's it mean, companion? Also, why am I marking this if I'm literally here?
talk to Abigail real quick. Good morning, Arthur. Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him out, Arthur. No Boy, problem. Someone had to. Well, try to keep your head straight. I suppose so. We're just a do gooder out here. Uh, real talk, are nuts in brownies cookies good or bad? I feel like they can be good. Yes, exact. Everyone remember, no chaos. Um, do I want to talk to you already? Probably. I downloaded. Wait, you downloaded the Red Dead, Red Dead soundtrack? Heck, Daddy, how's it going? What is your favorite game? Hmm. I think my all-time favorite game, this is a very recent update to the list, so if you have not heard this yet, I think The Witcher 3, for me, just took my favorite game top spot. Um, it was previously Skyrim, which I did, like, asterisks, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure... Because Skyrim was the very first game I ever played on PC, I just have this, like, attachment to it where I, I just held it up on this pedestal. But I gotta say, after playing The Witcher 3, including the two DLCs, uh, uh, yeah. Very. It was so... I was, I was devastated at the end of it, like... We love Skyrim. Skyrim is so... I thought it was Domino's. Do, I mean, if we're, if we're going into in-game games, then for me, Gwent over Domino's, but we all still have a big Witcher-sized hole in our hearts. It's... it like... I actually felt in my soul, like, when I was done playing for the first time, like, a piece of my soul was just not with me anymore uh gavin malaysian thank you so much for the follow yankees thank you so much for the follow and drc raymond sheffers thank you so much for the follow i really appreciate it you should try the standalone gwent game wait one of you guys put this into the discord actually isn't it it's like on sale right now right i think bpv thank you so much for the follow Okay, let's talk to the Reverend, huh? <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. Come on, Dutch. New York? We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But mm. first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. That we ain't so like good the... at doing scores anymore, dude. <laughs> yeah, that kind of seems like the opposite thing right, we should be you? doing, but I'll hear him sure, out. Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. Hello. This is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Uh... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. We did. Dutch Vanderland. How do you do? Not well, sir. Sarx Tom, well, thank I am you so sorry much for to the hear follow. That. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now mm -hmm. they've taken our horses. Who? The Who? infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. Men have helped me before. 
And I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Oh, we are really good at keeping <sighs> things from getting out of hand, so... Good choice, Charles. We can get some more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. Got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the list. Okay. Uh, I guess he's not coming with us, or what's going on here? Thank you for this. You're going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely okay. this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be? This will is be. perfect. Anyway, this son, is falling right into our plan for the day. Favorites. No He's murder, no man. killing anyone. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Mine, too. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellas need <laughs> Yeah, just a we nice we're just need going on a little boat ride with our friends to get back some horses. No big deal. We helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I Here we go killing again. No, noise. no, Andreas, I don't know if you noise, you got the part Arthur, where we don't noise. have to kill anyone, so that's I what we're not gonna do. I mean that is what we're gonna do, which is not think, kill anyone. Just think. For a uh, second, just the Pinkertons clear. have had time to reinforce. That's true. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest. Uh, I mean, we we don't want the, the game Indians to come to a conclusion. We need like anytime soon. Kill two just... birds with one stone. Cornwall. I would like to continue playing this game, please. On us. Dutch. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. Yeah. We're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, uh -huh. all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. All right. He, the man's got a plan. Okay. There's Peta. Hi, Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. Good. <laughs> a man with a plan. A man, right. a plan. We can set out. What, wait, what, what's the longest palindrome? A man, a plan, a canal, Panama? Think about it. That's it. That's actually almost exactly what's happening here. Um, we need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board mm -hmm. it. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Okay, and able to do this all without killing is what he went to add in there, but 
didn't say for some odd reason. Good luck. that's here try not to kill anyone huh stealth knockout perfect you mind the horses i need a smoke Just we need to Ohio somehow man. get them to split up. God damn it, no, I'm out. Alright. Uh, maybe if I throw something, they'll kind of split up to go look for it. What if I whistle? Yeah, maybe I can whistle. do this maybe if I whistle soldier okay and then we'll just come over here I guess I can run a little bit Get down. Okay, just knock him out. Just knock him out. Okay, he's asleep now. Yep, I see him. Okay. Why are we planting dynamite? <laughs> Wait, I just need to release the anchor. Aren't you dealing with the anchor? It, 
The only option I have is to plant dynamite. I don't know. Come on, we need Arthur. to do something about that anchor, Arthur. What? Oh no. Oh, this can't be I it. The horse is under control. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up then. Hurry. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. The body. The body. He's sleeping. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Oh, I totally had enough time. Okay. Seem to be going it's... pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Yo, Hold Dutch. On. What is wrong with you? Boys, all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Oh, oh my god! Get on water. Boss, get him out of here! Oh god! Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. Okay. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Yes, okay. I can. Okay. Press E. I can mount come this on. one, I think. Over here, come on. Fruit Newt, thank you so much for the follow. And Company Pumpkin, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on. Come here. Do you need to follow me? Oh. Okay. Follow me. Good horsies. I mean, now that the horses are off of it, it really doesn't look that bad. Okay, yeah, the good news is that um, now the boat isn't underwater, so when all of those soldiers wake up, um, they won't be at the, the bottom of the lake. That's pretty good. Best outcome we could, <laughs> we could have hoped for. <laughs> Land ho! Nice Star Trek bridge <laughs> spray. Thank you. How much farther we gotta go? <laughs> what about this? Is this it? Look at this. We're like a little synchronized like swimming team. I got the rest of the horses. Well, Arthur, oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't why. Stop worrying. Yeah, oh, I feel like we should not fight the Cone. army. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. how's it going? Shall we go, son? Certainly. <laughs> Just we'll start some wide reconnaissance out at Fort swimming. Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. My father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, Jeff. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. 
Would you? Uh, sure. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. It's concerning. <gasps> Honor! We are so honorable, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, we had some we had some things pop up here. What do we got? This is speaking with Rains Falls. I think we should probably do that before This is Micah. Wait, what's the Sadie thing? Oh, Sadie needs to speak to you. Okay. We go to Rain's Falls first. <laughs> We've come a long way from the $300 bounty fugitive in chapter two. I will never, I've re-watched through the VOD and I just don't understand how the bounty became so aggressive so quickly. The only thing that makes sense is that the lawmen were accidentally shooting their own horses and then blaming me for it. Man, I really wish it wasn't nighttime. Okay. Yes. This is right within our plan for today, which is nobody yeah. dies. So we go talk to Rain's Falls. Oops. Say we should not fight the army, otherwise people will die. Um, so yeah. City folk. They're gonna have tricks. Oh. We are. Come on. This weapon is in poor condition. What do you know? Okay, so. I recognize what this looks like, but if you can remember the split, the split, which is um, this, this falls into promoting justice, promoting justice. Uh. Oh God, oh God, no, no, no. No! Okay, I hate fighting on my horse for this purpose. My hat! Hold on. All right, what else you got? are gonna shoot me from all the way over there, huh? Well, I'm gonna loot some stuff and then I'm gonna be on my way. Oh god. Okay, they're actually way closer now. Ow! Why did I lose honor? Oh, I can't. A gosh darn thing. Ow. Ow. What is happening? Ow! I'll 
Also, am I out of... Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, God. Please. Please. No, no, no. No, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, you're good. You're good. Okay, it's fine. Just keep going this way. You're fine. Okay, what what's the issue? What's the issue with this right now? While I have it out? No, 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 sorry. How do I clean it? Okay, hold on a second. Are we in Margaritaville? No, we're definitely not in Margaritaville. What is this? Clean? I think some people that were not originally part of that situation just decided to insert themselves into that situation. Um, just like trying to make us look bad and... Okay, let's have... What should we eat? A biscuit maybe? Let's have a biscuit. <laughs> Wait, is this right? First time cleaning a gun? I I thought that as long as you took the guns to go get maintained at the um, at the gun shop, then I thought I didn't have to do it. So either it's been a really long time since I've done that, or Ooh, okay, on our way, let's go meet with Hamish again, okay? He's invited us to go hunting again. Right, you're good. Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. Okay, so back to what I was saying. All of that doesn't count because uh, I'm not really sure. Originally, we were just taking out the... Um, the mudblood guys that obviously murdered ooh, horses. Hold on, anything good? Steady. Nah, just some standards. Ooh, Mustang though. you Kentucky Saddler let me see Walker oh there's like a full mix in here okay well noted anyways what um <laughs> it doesn't even have a Ford badge it's a clearly a fake um I know I love Hamish too I'm kind of like speed running his side missions, but I just want to hang out with him all the time. Maybe after we get, you know, done being an outlaw and everything, we can just like retire at his little cabin and we can go out fishing and hunting together. That'd be nice. Uh, hi, Ray. You've been watching you for a few weeks. I like to recognize talent when I can. You're a very strong streamer. Keep it up. Canuck, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Get the Mustang? No, I think uh, Horseus Maximus is also a very strong horse. Do you have a game you're going to play once you're done with Red Dead 2? I know you still have ways to go. Um, I'm torn because... I do want to play Cyberpunk at some point, however, um, I almost want to wait because I think they're coming out with like a big patch or a DLC or something, um, like closer to like end of second quarter this year. So part of me is like... Maybe I should put something in between this and Cyberpunk to be able to make it to 
the DLC and like the big some sheep, elk. Nah, I think those are like the same horses. Yeah. Um so yeah, why do you do you have a game you would like to suggest? Uh friend friend Dewin, thank you so much for the follow. IRL chestnut horses are the fastest ones, but they tend to be stupider horses as well. That's not nice. Hot Tomato was the best horse, and I will just be forever crushed. I I was gonna ride Hot Tomato to the very, very end of time. Oh, can't go in a side door. Sorry. Thought thought we were better friends than that, Hamish, but I guess not. Yeah, it may make sense to wait for the content update they promise. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. It's like content update, and then I thought it was like a big DLC, so. No, it's not Hot Tomato. Yeah, I could put an Assassin. I haven't played any of the Assassin's Creed games, so I could definitely put one of those. Just like something in the middle until Cyberpunk is at like. Hamish. Arthur. Come on a, in. Not a better state because I feel so, like people have said good here? things about oh, it. Keep um, fire, thank you. Up to now, but so you it's know all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization. <laughs> civilization. Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Mm -hmm. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides. I ain't lonely up here. I got no? company. You do? Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? Yeah. I do. <laughs> that looks good. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Damn, oh! I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. What? You thought you got him? That was the most like, oh gosh, I don't have anything good on me. Stop, please. Okay, that's good. We're we're weakening it, you know. Okay, gosh, that's You're not good. Hard like cast iron. Damn it. Okay, this is fine. Those were those were not the best shots I could have taken, but I'd like to think they were better than Hamish's. Search for signs of the boar. Come on, where are you? I got the horse. Come on. Okay. Hold on. Found some boar tracks back that I'm way, so. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. You see that thing? It Big as a buffalo. Okay. Big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a better gun. What have I been liking? The Lancaster? Across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, mm -hmm. and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Or should I be using a shotgun here? The semi-auto, maybe. Must not be my game, then, playing it now, spookily. 
Wait, playing what now? <laughs> Thick boy. Cyberpunk is $10 off on uh, GOG. Hopefully they'll have an Easter sale. Yeah, uh, I'm like, I'm not sure if they would put it on sale, um, like right after they have a major update, but might, might as well wait and see. Like I'm not in a rush to play it right now because I'm playing this. And I also want to check out Red Dead Online at some point. So I think that'll take me, that'll take me a ways out, you know? Dead animal over here. What's that? It's a wolf carcass. Oh, okay. I just want to inspect it. Oh boy. Hamish. Hamish? Shit, he's after. Oh gosh. You're you're cool to run down this, right? Just any way you can find a way down. seeing any yellow. Okay, you're fine, Arthur. Please don't be dramatic. Is it down? Okay. That guy looks like Randy Savage. Wait, who? Aha. Okay, see? I knew you could do it. You're big and brave and strong and... Let's go up. What's that? Is that Hamish over here? Jesus, no. No! Throne and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> take Buell for me, would you? What? Where would I take Buell? Horse. You may be stubborn. You're not dying. <laughs> but he's strong. <laughs> Amos. Trying to be sad. We got him, old man. Get off of him. Thank you so much for the follow. Imbecile. Ma, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> he went out as he would have wished, covered him naked.
Get off of Hamish, you big... What can I do? Okay, let's just everybody chill out. Okay. Alright, what can we do here? Maybe I can, like, kick Hamish out? Kind of. Oh, this is working! Hold on! He's becoming dislodged. Shoot. Okay. Maybe I can get one of the horses to kick him. Okay. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes! Okay! Good. Good, Buell. Okay! Okay! This is good. This is good. Was, was da? Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> I should push that boar into downtown Saint Denis. Just roll up, like kicking a boar all the way down. Based Riley, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, this is good. That's it. All right, what kind of horse is Buell? A Dutch warm blood in Cremello gold. It is a pretty horse. Okay. How come you can't pick up his body? I don't want him up here. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can kick Hamish's body to a better final resting place. Busy working my way through Red Dead 2. It's a great laugh. It def There are some laughs for sure. And then of course you get here and I'm just like, I'm gonna cry real quick. Okay. Yes, we just need to... Okay, this can actually work, I think. Perfect. Okay. So we can kick his body. Um, we just need to find a final resting place for him. Hmm. We can start by just moving him down. Oh gosh. Oh no, he's gonna be stuck. <laughs> please don't get stuck in the crevice. No, please no, please no. Okay, no, we're fine. Okay, if we can get him to that little patch of flowers down there, I think that would be nice. Shoot. See, game knows what's up. It's playing that like burr, burr, burr song kind of. Okay, yes. This is perfect. Good, good, good. Good movement. Okay, cue the rain. Like, Rockstar, you're not gonna let me pick up his body, but you're gonna play the music in the rain as I kick his body to a better final resting place. 
honestly one that he deserved and apparently you weren't willing to give him unbelievable <laughs> you have bonded with this horse cool okay that's good a lot of movement there a lot of movement there that was good We're so close. I I have a vision. I have a vision and am just trying to execute on it the best that I can given current resources. Shoot. Yes. We're almost there, almost there. start Easy. from like up here <laughs> that was awful timing uh i think i can't i can't use the lasso because Whoa. he's already dead I was unable to drag a dead body using a lasso, but now we're going to make an exception. Okay. <laughs> I thought you just liked taking the long route. <laughs> okay, well, I appreciate I appreciate you letting me play my game. Okay. Um so now <laughs> Okay, so now that this is an option, um, maybe we can reassess. <laughs> maybe we can reassess. Um, should we try to bring him back home? Or... Or maybe he still likes the idea of... of being out here? Okay, this is good. Okay, so now we'll take him back to his home. I think he's suffered enough. It also won't let me pick him up, but now I can drag him. I understand that now dragging him behind a horse is better than being kicked, kicked to your final resting place by a horse, but okay. Okay, nobody, nobody look behind us. It's, it's just gonna... It's okay. It's okay. Um... 
this is this is the scenic the scenic route um the these are all of his most favorite can you maybe hog tie his body and then pick it up okay let's see No. Come on, boy. Okay, no, 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 no. What is that for? Okay. These were all of Hamish's most favorite trails. I can't eat at a time like this. <laughs> Close casket. No, no, no. He's he's on his back. It's fine. I can't eat food because then I will uh, release the lasso. So we we will have a proper. Okay. Or maybe it will let me eat. I feel like I have one more venison. Okay, well. Can you just walk somewhere else, Horseus? and not step on his dead body. Like, maybe come this way. Okay, perfect. Okay, please steer away from the body. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, everything is fine. It did not drag his body after the jump. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody back, everybody back. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was saying, um... Wait, what? <laughs> Most people spread ashes. <laughs> we, we smeared the body. Yeah, but it's smeared along his most favorite trails. Um, Hamish loved this place. He, he told us himself, like, he, he didn't feel alone while he was out here. He, um, he, he was surrounded by nature and love and <laughs> Alexandrug. Thank you so much for the follow. He just... Maybe I can pick up the pace a little bit. Is he still back there? Yeah, he's still back there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is his funeral procession. This is a, a way nicer burial than anybody else has gotten. Sprint. Hey, three star black squirrel. Hamish would have loved. Oh no. Oh no. Everybody act cool. You just be on your way. You got a bad air about you. Yep, no worries, sir. On my way. Causing no trouble here. Obsidian, thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> this is sir can you please put your gun away this is a funeral oh that's that black squirrel again actually this is kind of beautiful right what what a metaphor for hamish's life um us a, a three star rare black squirrel running right alongside of us during his funeral procession.
I gotta get closer and then I can drag him. We've almost made it, my friend. Oh no! Wait, what the heck? Come on, pull! Arthur, pull! Unbelievable. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right on cue. Thank you, Rockstar. she just had like a little bit nicer of a view. Let's see if I can... Just turn him a little. Okay! Yes! Okay, Horseus, get out of the way. Okay, would, um, would either of you like to kick us off, or whatever you feel emotionally up for. I, I don't want to push you into, into something that you don't want to talk about, but, um... Mike Barden, thank you so much for the follow. It's always something new. It's always something new when I join a race stream. Glad to walk into whatever this is. Happy three months. Happy three months of saying. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll take that as a no, which is fine. Um, this is a tough one. It's a tough one. <laughs> it was a moving ceremony, but kind of dragged out a bit. Wait, did it did it poop during that? That's unfortunate. Okay. I have gathered you all here today to say goodbye to our friend Hamish. Hamish died in the same way that he lived his life. Well, uh, actually, I didn't really think this through enough to really like make a really good connection, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that. You can draw your own conclusions. Even with missing half of his leg, he never let anything slow him down. When he saw an opportunity to go after something, he took it. He jumped right into the middle of things, and um, he, uh, he lived a good life. He had seen some things, and you know, even when bad things happened to him, he always had a smile on his face and a revolver in his hand. In the end, excuse me. In the end, he did not suffer. He pretty quickly bled out. Um, think maybe hit like a, a major artery, so went by pretty quick. I will ride Buell, his horse into the end of my Red Dead days and beyond to honor Hamish and remember all the really good times we had together. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. Now sleep well. Okay, yeah. He's got a good view. 
that. <laughs> no. We will... More. We will do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. To keep this horse alive for the remainder... Uh, I know it's hard, Horseus, but it's time we let him rest. It's time we let him rest. All right, well... Oh, hey, there's a dead body over here. Mm. Okay, real quick, we're gonna go check on whatever that little situation yeah. is over there. And then I need to trade trade horses. Hey, you ain't got no business being here. We both rolled up on this at the same time, except you, you were. Turn heel right now, you hear me? Well, what are you doing? <laughs> Diffuse. You don't like visitors, huh? Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. Sheesh. Not even gonna check this guy for ID or anything? ASR, how's it going? Okay, confirmed no ID on that guy, okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so now we gotta go over. This is probably the closest stable, right? I felt like there was one out here, but I'm not... Oh, yeah, yeah, here. Actually, this is probably closer. And I haven't used it before, so... Oh, but this is taking us into dead or alive territory. Do I really want to deal with that right now? I don't think so. Okay, let's be safe. And go out here. We have no way of knowing where we should drag him. Okay. I... L listen. I took whatever option was given to me. Hey! was for Hamish, you no good. Stinking wolves. Can't you see I'm in mourning? Yeah. Man, everybody trying to kick us while we're down. Emotionally in the dumps. Let me have some peace. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I guess those wolves were a little insensitive. They were very insensitive and you know, I thought if I just shot and killed one, the others would sort of just get the hint and move along, but they didn't, so they all had to die. Yeah, good boy. You're a good yeah, boy. Okay, boy. Okay, there, are you boy. really that tired? I can stop for a second, I guess. I just saw that. Should we take it somewhere? Nah, we don't know that guy. No ID, so don't know where he should go. At least with Hamish, we we knew he wanted to be back home. 
he seemed uh he seemed really yeah. proud of his accomplishments and Wait, He's while we're around. here, I don't have any outstanding bounties, do I? I think I'm good, but Be with you momentarily. Sure. Liberty is worth every penny. No, we're good. You? No, I'm all set. Thank you, though. Take care now. Wait, no, did I lie to you? I think, do I have a three-star pike? No, I don't. Or I sold it. Or I lost it. One of the times I died. Okay, boy. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. To the stable. No, no, no. It's all good. Okay, so how does this work with the new horse? Can I like take off the saddle and then put my saddle on it? Yes, okay, cool. And then what do you do with the other one? Okay, maybe I'll just see if I can like flip them or something. I just grab mine. Just getting this off you boy. Okay, well easy peasy. Okay. What? You stay there a second. I think I gotta go do some rearranging in here. or something. Damn, it's skinny. I'm all out of space. I'm fine. If you ain't Don't got you papers, worry about I can't me. give you much. I've been burned before. Okay. What else I got in the stable here? Oh, man. Is it time that we sell XD? I mean, do I really want XD in here more than I want uh, Horseus Maximus? I think is the... Yes, yeah, so we're riding. It's a miracle they'll give you $14, take it and run. Yeet. We're gonna yeet XD out of here. XD, you were the best $15 that I have ever spent on a horse. You're just... I mean, you were you were good for the money. You're just not quite a, you're just not quite at the level as everybody else that we got in the rotation, you know. So I believe you are going to go to a greener pasture where you'll be loved for exactly who you are, and I think that's really special. Okay, bye. Okay, this is Horseus Maximus. Horsey. Oops. Horsey. How'd you spell this? Horseus? Maximus? I forget how I spelled it before. <laughs> Breaking up with XD on Valentine's Day. Oh, that hurts. Oh, no. Oh. oh, now I feel bad. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> it's time to take up. Okay, XD, listen. It wasn't you. It's me. I, I'm the one I've changed. I'm sort of in a different time in my life than when you and I were a thing. 
Um. Oh, horses don't celebrate Valentine's Day? Okay, yeah, then he's fine. Horseus. I'm gonna go with this. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's retrieve Buell. Um, let's see, what do we got upgrade wise? Blankets, bedrolls, saddlebags. I got one of them myself. Ooh, upgraded saddlebag? Let's see, what do we got for colors? Ew. Uh, no. Leathered. Pick. I don't know, I kind of feel like that's probably the best. Although this one's sort of more clean. This doesn't really go as well. Chestnut. Okay, let's do that. I hear folks say this town is on the skids, but I don't see it. Okay. Saddles. I think I have the best saddle. Good saddles already. is almost as important as a good horse. <laughs> okay. I kind of like my saddle. Okay, what can we do? What can we do for you? Main. You go with the, the long hair. Ew! Hold on. Wait, what color? What color is this hair? His current hair is like one of a kind. Oh no, it's this, I think. Okay. Uh -huh. Do that. And then his tail. Go with the long tail. So goes a long way. And I think Looks it's this nice. color. Bye. Okay. What do you need? Do you need a full, full sort That'll of care package? Happy. Yeah. All right, what can I buy in here? Make sure I got the horse reviver. Carrots. Bye, peppermint cute. Okay. I'm out of here. I feel like that's not what his hair color is. Maybe it's just like the shadows, but the tail looks weird, right? Let's get into the sunlight. I feel like it's lying to me on, on the color of the hair. Or it doesn't look good. I'm gonna make it white instead. What, whatever this is, it doesn't look good. Okay, sorry, changed my mind. Need a quick dye job. Is Horseus Maximus the famous white Arabian? No, uh, Siri is the famous white Arabian. Yeah, the hair color's like way darker. Oops. I'm I'm not sure what happened, but nice bit of grooming. People take notice. Maybe it's like a one of a kind sort of color. Enjoy. And I need to set it back. Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. Go white. Ugh. Ew. Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna set everything back. I'm sorry I tried to change you. Okay, now let's go. Come back soon. That's a good horse. Okay, much better. <laughs> XC watches through the window as Horseus Matt gets the full treatment and then is like, I never got the full treatment. I barely got fed. Okay, so now we're gonna go up to here. Got a little bit of a hike, but plenty of time oh, for us to bond, boy. you know? Hey, Turnicus, how's it going? So far, I've seen you sink a boat, murder innocent campers, drag a dead body of a supposed friend, dump a horse on B-Day. This is the wholesome content I'm here for. Okay. I think the way you're describing all of those things is not how it actually happened. You just said it in the way that sounds 
in the worst way possible. Um, <laughs> well, to be fair, XD, when the horse is cheaper than the carrots. Wait, something, something tells me that XD was originally only $5. Maybe it was 15, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there was a horse I bought for $5. Easy peasy. Look at this little rainbow, little romantic. I mean, everything sounds worse out of context. Okay, so the same way, the same way I would say that is, um, we saved a bunch of horses on a boat. Um, the okay, we provided justice to people that were murdered at their campsite along with others that decided to join in i br i brought somebody to a final resting place that they were deserving of and i allowed a horse to go free that was simply being um Simply being sheltered um, and not being used, so allowing it to go free to people that would really enjoy, you know, its personality and everything. I think that's how it actually went down. <laughs> She's really picking up the mobster lingo. You're right, when you put it like that, honestly, when you put it the way that I say it, we're a hero like five times over. The way you said it just kind of sounded like somebody was chaotic and like is, you know, trigger happy. Oh, we got to start saying hi to people. Hi there, mister. Yeah. Our, uh, our honor took a little bit of a nosedive, um, unfortunately. Okay, let's slow down a little bit so we can have a full conversation. A full, meaningful conversation with these lovely gentlemen. Hey, partner. dressing nowadays, is it? I'm not looking for company. It's all oh. good. Calm down. Damn fine weather, ain't it? Ain't nothing to worry Very about. Yeah, I've seen okay, honor you. back. Now we're good. See? Yep. This is this is also what happens in real life when you take the second and not do a drive by hello to somebody that you meet. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> when you have take a second to stop and have a full meaningful conversation with someone, your heart will feel more full. You cannot use weapons in this area? Oh, well that's that's totally okay because um No, Mr. Cow, I'm sorry. Okay, and then calm. Take it easy. You're a good horse. Okay. Hello? The man from the outside? Hello? Hello? Come in.
You are too. Aw. It's all you know, good. It's Happy well. Valentine's Day, Debbie. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. And I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently oh not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, we were trying to save your horses. I suppose I lacked the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. Echo Groovy. For a whole lot of Groovy. dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. Sorry. I'm an old man. <clears throat> my whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. Yeah. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? Definitely. I certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Yes, sure, help. I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Sure. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. Thank you, Captain Memro. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. I know my lyric. Thank you so much for the follow. Yet so often we're unable to see past our part. own grievances. <laughs> Ex thank this you, Obsidian. Exactly. Teach, my son. I saved the horses and everything. Good. There was no need to harm them. Exactly. I never harm anything when. You know, there's an option not to, sir. We can't talk 
if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan! Sorry. My it's horse was... We stay together now. Okay. So, you were saying? It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. Ha! Ah. So... We don't know each other too well, but... I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well... I mean, it's not really stealing back know, when Dutch, we think. were getting back yes, what was ours, you know? Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. looking for English mace okay let's continue on so back to what I was talking about okay. yes a little mostly from your friend Charles I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation and this ain't easy to say but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Okay. Wait, Arthur's son? You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. No! We can talk more about no! this later. Okay. Oh. What a cliffhanger. How did that happen? This will combine well. Oh, look at this view. See everything up here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Right there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Okay. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So, anyway. Welcome home. I Thank you so much for the one follow. Day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. And shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Harden me feeling that kind of pain but I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you I think you're being hard on yourself maybe all I can do now is try and make some things right I appreciate the herbs but emu Emma I thank you so much for the follow I saw a doctor. Why? He says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but 
Some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. You do? Spongy Pump, thank you so much for the follow. I need to be up closer. Why can't I talk to you? It's just and up ahead. Stefanini, thank you so much for the follow. What's happened? No! It can't be! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. See a flat army flask. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. Oh god. Okay, sorry. Sorry, something just broke in there. There's some whiskey here. Okay, Arthur, maybe... I mean, that's clearly a whiskey bottle. I feel like I don't really need to say out loud, hey, I think a bunch of people got drunk up here and set it, it on fire. Like they was doing some drinking. There's something over that way. Oh gosh, just want to find the pipe. <sighs> I hope if I go back. Have a look at this. I see no end to any of this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well. Still no sign of the Chinupa. <gasps> oh, there's something over here. Logs. Whiskey soaked logs. Look there. Smoke. Uh, are those white lines? They're like, yeah, I think it's like the scent or something of an animal. Um, but it, it can Morgan. go between. There's someone down there. Down where? Do you have any binoculars? I do. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. 
They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Okay. I'll try to ensure that they never even know I'm there, but... Yep. Actions don't we're, always go the way we <laughs> We're gonna try our best. Baka, how's it going? <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think they may have been drinking up here. Okay. Well, this is very unfortunate because, um, I can tell Are you, you guys... Oh no, I was gonna ride my horse in. Okay, sorry. It's I was gonna ride my horse, but it's it's cool. I could definitely use the cardio, no problem. It's probably better this way, anyways. Um Yeah, what I was gonna tell you guys is I was thinking about just yeeting some dynamite into this camp, but now I see that's probably not the best way to go. Riding your horse will definitely keep you hidden. I thought that it would just help with, well, maybe I should wait till nighttime. Search the camp for the sacred items. Let's do the sneaky knockouts, okay? How about that? Then we can search some of these in a little more peace. What's that? Who's there? Nobody. Fellers. Oh, okay. Take your hands off, man. That's it for you. You did me. Look, I'm not even shooting. Okay, well now I'm shooting, but... Oh, I can't search. Shoot! Okay, this is... Okay, we just gotta search for... Search for the items while we're in here, okay? Look, we're... They're... They're off our trail. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Chinooba. Okay, Chinooba. Is he running? Oh, shoot, Arthur, no!
Wait, where'd the last one go? Okay, it's fine. Uh, he's definitely not gonna get reinforcements. Pick up. Okay, everything is fine. I really did think, I really did think I could do that sneakily. Okay, I stealth kill that guy and the other one is all... Ooh, I can focus on the track. Search this chest. That guy did not get the memo for how stealth kills work. When I stealth kill, like, you don't get to... Where's an arrow pamphlet? Inspect document? Poison arrows now. Okay, hold on. Yes. Okay, I need to track this soldier. He went this way. Shoot. How about this chest? Take this. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> wow, that almost went badly. I mean, we didn't kill them all, so that's good. Except one did get away, and that's sort of just really bumming me out, you know? Okay, so he went this way. I went this way. And then where'd he go? Just like stops here. Or does it become the blue line? I'm not sure. Okay, we gotta... Are you gonna be cool or not cool? Cool. Okay. I feel like if there's a way that I can set all of these horses off, like, that would be good. This one is calm, so we'll do a little, little peeky. This one is also calm, so... Hey! Sensei Humor, thank you so much for the follow. You actually resemble a woman from this era, but with better skin. What does that mean? I guess, thank you. The nerve of some people to run away in a gunfight. Unbelievable. Okay, the important thing is we went in with the intent to not kill anybody. So I feel like we had the general, like, the general embodiment of what was asked of us. Okay, Arthur, please. Um, you know, it didn't end up, it didn't end up working the way we had, um, you know, originally went in thinking it was gonna go as, but um, we adapted to the situation and we're also able to retrieve the item, so. Oh, geez, Louise, okay. All right, what do you need? Prime beef? How about some beef? Good, <laughs> exactly. Good intentions. This is survival of the fittest, Darwinism. Yes, thank you, Hick. They, they forced me into what happened, like, uh, I was, I came in peace. I didn't immediately come out and say that I came in peace because I was trying to sneaky be in peace. But then, you know, once one thing led to another, um, violence had to be the answer. 
Please tell me you found it. I did. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe yes. I can calm my people. Little massacre maybe I can calm is my okay son. if it prevents so. big massacre. I totally, you. you know what? I totally agree with that. I mean, Take that sounds logic. You, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Back at your home? Let's go take a look yep. at a uh... make sure the view is still good for Hamish, you know? You know, I wonder if that mission there ends up like if you are able to somehow do it without uh without anybody getting hurt. I wonder what that can do for the storyline, you know? I would be pretty... You, you don't actually have to answer that, but I would be pretty upset with myself if that ends up being like... Uh, I'm not gonna go back and redo it because, I mean, I, I messed it up, you know? Jeez. Okay. Um. So, I think a couple different things could have maybe happened here, but um, I'm just. I think I'm just gonna choose to keep them to myself. You know. What's this? Oh yeah, let's help Captain Zero. <clears throat> the game Im ends immediately and everyone lives happily ever after. They're like, you clearly have shown you have what it takes to be a sneaky god gamer. And you have ascended to a level that you don't even need to play the rest of the game to be able to understand like the gravity of what you have done, so you're all set. <laughs> he just goes up. Yes, okay, so maybe, maybe Arthur incorrectly uh, assumed that Hamish was dead. Okay saw the big pool of blood and was like, okay, he definitely, but didn't consider the fact that Hamish just really, really passed out. Exactly, yep. yeah, playing possum. Okay, good, yes. 
I like I like that way better than the thing I was gonna say out loud. <laughs> he got he got bored. He was like, "All right, this is a pretty nice view, but uh, uh, I I gotta go back out and see the world." Go help Captain Monroe. Wait, no, that's actually... <laughs> actually makes kicking him with his own horse. They weren't really kicks. It was kind of like, uh... Hey there, mister. It was kind of like gentle pushes. Like, you know when you're a kid and you... Where am I going? And you're like rolling down like a grassy hill or something like that. Wait, how did this happen? Okay, well, that's fine. That's pretty much what happened to Hamish anyways. Guess he'll be wanting his horse then. In a way, I think he would want it to be this way. Like, he really wanted Buell to see the world and explore and, right, boy. and get to go on, like, cool missions that he just, like, really wasn't able... are gone, but, uh... It's okay. Do we think that was the runaway soldier? I don't think so. Hmm. It is a beautiful horse, right? Jeez. All your animals scaring me out here. He didn't turn into a toad. Oh, okay. All right. Hamish being one of the toad people also could happen. Buddy. I didn't just search around for a toad there. Perhaps if I spent... Okay, next time we go back to his house, take a second. If we're able to find a toad, then we know um, that he, while he may have shed and lost his human body, his toad one still remains. That's, that's how the toad people work, by the way. Hi. Hey, mister. Out of my face. Go on. All right, simmer down. Just wanted to say hi. Oh, you're going this way too? Me too. Go and find yourself another patch of nowhere, huh? I mean, how about we both go to the same patch of somewhere, you though? Irritate me. Okay, sir. I just. Yep. I'm just so lonely. Okay, run, 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 run. <gasps> Mr. Morgan. Hey there. Hi there, Hello. Captain Monroe. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. and Apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of the vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to 
be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. I mean, then, he could have been I mean, reincarnated as a legendary a horse's ass. Okay, maybe a, a legendary fish. No, I feel like that would be an awesome, so like, full circle story. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, you must act with due caution. Oh, that is shall. the only you way I act, shall. sir. Now, come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Okay. Lead the way, Captain. You lead the way. So, this Colonel Faber. He knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, I like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. All right. Well, I'm show me where to find have an idea of what I'll that looks like. You. you don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm I am the most the discreet person you will meet. Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon oh. back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Okay. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. I see. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> no, you are not. What? What are you talking about, Irish? Discreet. Nobody gets hurt. We only need the vaccines. Do not try to go for the full wagon. All Got right. it, sir. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Okay. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. This way or this way? Oh, nice. Okay, let's dismount uh, here. Arthur Morgan the Boa, thank you so much for the follow. And over the road from this ledge. <laughs> OW Gangstar, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that True. case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean, clean. as they come. All I do is clean. All well, I do is clean. That's right, I'll Arthur. Back to the reservation. Okay. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. 
Okay. Retrieve the medicine. Come on. How am I gonna do this? All of my training has led me to think maybe I can just Hey you keep your distance. Hey. Hold it right there. Whoa, you better put that down right now. You better put that down right now. That's it. Shoot that bastard already. Don't you do it! Okay, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Um, what can I do here? Yes! Ow! Oh! No! Not my horse! Okay, that's the last... Okay... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. He's around the tree. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh my god! No, no, no! Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Just let me hog tie him, please! Hello? Oh! I'm trying not to hurt you! Please! Oh god. I just. Can I just get in here? Okay, wait. This is. Okay. Okay, I think everybody would understand if I did come back with the wagon because I didn't actually hurt the soldiers, you know? I feel like they would want it to be this way. Um. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know what the stomp was about. I think that was not, that was not me. I, maybe I can like, I just gotta somehow go maybe this way and up and around. Actually, I don't need this full thing. I just gotta get the vaccine. So if I take this far enough away, okay. If I just bring it like maybe down here. I just gotta take it far enough away that I can grab the vaccines out and then I can leave this here. I mean, they probably see it, right? Mm, okay, I'm not so worried. Okay, yep, they're running. Okay, boy. We're good yeah. to go. Yeah. Hey, it's back there. Thanks, gentlemen. Swimmingly. Nobody got hurt. I returned their, um, uh, I returned to them their cart. <laughs> Another mission that went exactly according to plan. Check. Ooh, I love tacos, Nyx. I'm very jealous. Hey, we were asked to keep it clean not hurt anybody and 
as far as I can see, we did both of those two things to perfection. I'm not exactly sure what happened that I wasn't able to hog tie that one guy, but I wouldn't worry about it. Right, exactly. Yeah, if only Dutch. Oh, gosh. What? 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 I brought yeah. you. What? Maybe help train spot. Captain Monroe, I've got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too bad. Mm-hmm. I'll have to take your word for that. I would definitely take my word for that. both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Mm. Well, I better get to work. Face mask Thank would you, have Mr. helped, Morgan. for sure. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Boy. Oh, they're probably mad that I ran my horse all the way in here. Look at us just being heroes all over the place. What's this? T? No, there's a T mission. Trelawney? Oh, man. King of Blackout, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> We're just not going to talk about the little foot in the plate. Yeah, it was a slip. I like the ground was a little uneven there. So as I went to step, it just sort of, you know, happens to the best of us. Griefing, thank you so much for the follow. I love that mission. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a clean way to do things. I know, What? why is Trelawney back here? That makes me a little nervous. Hmm. You sure are a wholesome outlaw. Thank you, Asir. I was thinking the exact same thing. Good, clean, uh... You know, doesn't use any unnecessary or aggressive force in any way. Really takes into consideration where words are more powerful than weapons. I really try my darndest. Go see what see what Trelawney's got for us and then it would be good on Valentine's Day to be able to uh, go on our second date with Sadie. Okay, boy. Right, boy. Oh, we're like cutting through here? That's weird. I've like never, apparently I have never, oh, oh, sorry, sir. You know what? 
Okay, sorry. I went to go say hello and then I got lost on the on the mountain. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh boy. All right. Oh. Here we go. I saw a red dot. Yeah, probably. Although I wish they had some like they were able to do something with the dots because sometimes it's like a bear and then sometimes it's a snake. And like when it's a snake, you know, I'll just be like, oh, you know, they're there. Like, you're a good boy. Um, when it's a bear, like, I would maybe take some other, <laughs> some other precautions with my upcoming moments. Or movements. I hope you don't drive a car. Um, it's been a while since I've driven a car, which is probably what's happening here. It seems like very distracted driving, like trying to say hi, and then you're going off a cliff, and then you gotta bring it back, but I'm a pretty good driver in real life, for the most part. Whoa. Do you guys think? Lancaster? It's a three star grizzly bear. Probably the one in the back. You needed your rifle for a cleaner kill. Wait, which, just so I know in the future, which one is for, oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Like the Springfield? There are visual nuances to the predator animals. For example, snakes will always be close to you. Oh, okay. Bolt action and a headshot. Wait, bolt action? Oh. What about the rolling block? Rolling, rolling. Okay. Hold on. Let me just... Is this the one that has the really annoying scope, though? Okay. So you, you obviously wouldn't be able to use this up close, but this is the... Well, dang it. Well, I'm still gonna take its pelt, because... Don't wanna... Okay, needs to be a scope rifle. Ghost Aria, thank you so much for the raid. I needed that advice too. My pelts are almost 40% poor. Like, I I don't really do anything. You'll probably get some animal, animal fat too. Okay, we'll, we'll not feel so bad about, uh, about just butchering that right That's there. Cool. Yeah, because when I, I think the only buffalo that I've killed it was the legendary one. So it like didn't matter that at the time I had a really bad gun and everything. But the, 
Uh, I try to use like a bow and arrow still for the deer because it seems to work fine. Um, but that's good to know. Thanks for the shout out and have a nice stream. Thank you. How is your stream, Ghost? And thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. If you press the info button when targeting an animal, it tells you the weapon that is best for killing it. Where? Oh no! No! Okay, hold on. I'm. I'll have to test out that theory. That's so crazy. Cause even when I just had the. Oh, cause you know what it is. I think I have to do the study, and then show info. Maybe. I think normally I just look at it through the binoculars, and then I just see what star it is, but. Okay. Yep. Okay. Said I'd look when I was close to here. Hmm. I feel like... Definitely hear some... some toads and stuff around these parts. Didn't get my eyes on it, but that's okay for now. Um, excuse me, rock. Actually, we're kind of near a trapper over here, right? should go pick these back up and then I can go to the trapper Hold up. wait unless these aren't the same ones that I killed before yeah I think it was actually when you're aiming at them uh, also if you stand still when you find a bear it won't attack you it was great. I'm doing my first playthrough. Oh, nice, ghost. Thanks for streaming today. It means a lot to me. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if things went a little more according to plan, like, we'd all probably be a little bit happier with the events that has gone on today, but I appreciate it, Nezo. Okay, I don't think that one was me. What about this one? Timber wolf. Uh, one question, did she do sister stranger missions? Uh, that doesn't sound familiar. Doesn't sound familiar to me. Where where would that be though? Hey Keijo, how's it going? Um yes, hi everyone from Aria Stream. Um I feel like I always forget to say hi, but hope you guys are all having a very, very good day. I'm playing through I mean <laughs> Obviously, I'm playing some Red Dead right now. No, Ray, you're going here. To the trapper. Okay. Uh, for the first time, playing, do, yep. playing through some Red Dead 2, which sounds like is where you guys came from. So, welcome, welcome. Saint Denis helping a nun. I did help a nun in Saint Denis. Tomorrow's the last day to get the Red Dead Online discount. I think... Okay, well, actually, I don't know. I think when I bought this, it automatically came with online, but is there something, like, specifically yeah. special? Um, that I should be getting. Oh, we are very helpful. Yes, very helpful. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's my honor. Okay, just just as a like 
you know, the, my little honor circle was all the way at the top at the beginning of the stream today. So I will easily get it back there. Um, just had a couple, couple of minor mishaps and misunderstandings happen, but uh, I'm gonna get it right back up in no time, I promise. to see you again sir hi so, sir buying or selling right, i am see. selling today i would like to sell uh this Ooh, you still get three dollars for the poor bear pelt not that i'm trying to like you know make <laughs> make up for uh Thank poorly you. shooting that bear but I guess we'll see what Trelawney's got. Morgoth Tree Breaker, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, if you have this game, you have online too. Okay, perfect. Great, you're doing good. Better than uh, most of the last year. Just, let's just go guns blazing and wonder why they get the bad ending. No, I'm trying to be my very best honorable self. Sometimes it is not very easy and you do gotta take the uh <laughs> the honor hit but for the most part i'm trying to trying to be a good honorable cowboy if you play the only mode wasn't available oh i see so if you if like last year or two years ago whenever it came out if you just bought the game, it didn't automatically come with the online. I'm excited for this mission. It's my fave. But I know there's a lot of good missions. Um, there have been a lot of good missions, for sure. What's going on here? I'm lost a little bit. Um, yeah, so many of these missions have been really, really good. I'm trying to think, like... I don't know. It kind of goes against everything that I was just saying, but the uh, the Greys and the Braithwaite missions, I had a lot of fun with those. Am I still, like, super far? I do not recognize taking this path Whoa, ever. Lost. Okay. Me and my brothers might be able to help you. I don't think so. Oh god, you're everywhere! Okay. Probably now know why I, I have not gone this way before. Uh, Chew Beto, thank you so much for the follow. Computer Boy, thank you so much for the follow. And Goon, thank you so much for the follow. Hey, at least they got some money on them. Can keep it coming, whatever. Dead eye. Oh yeah. Okay, so for you guys that may be new here, um I don't 
like to use Deadeye that much. Unless I'm like really, really blowing it. Something to me makes it feel more like immersive and fun um, when I'm not using the Deadeye. So like I said, if I'm like super whiffing and it's just going really poorly, um, it's not like I'm not like above using it, you know, but I just like to see what my aim is like and, and try it out. Tucker, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, good boy. Hey. Feels good to be home. Ooh, I want to go back and talk to the Reverend too, because we were so rudely interrupted by Dutch last time I was here. Is Quirks Chat in here? Hi, Quirks Chat! PGR, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Spy? Spies? 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 I'm gonna say spies. Thank you so much for the follow. And Matt, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it, you guys. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you He's won't. not coming Let's back. Not no more. Get out of here. Uh, HR Link. I'll miss you, so Arthur. You've follow. been a fine friend to me. No, no, let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. FD was too short. Thank you so much a for the follow. For you. Sharp, Haley, Mr. Casey, Morgan. thank you guys so much for the follows. What's happening here? How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? Hey! I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Not wrong. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You hey. owe this man. You should have him oh do gosh, your negotiations. what is happening? Major, Gasky, Kexi, and Thorin. Thank you guys all so much for the follows. <laughs> We come to you, highly recommended from a small-handed man. Well, the only small-handed man I know is Quirk, so... Hick Daddy, thank you so much for the sub. So if it wasn't him, then uh, Tyson told him to stop by. Well, he did not have to do that. The bear hat looks so silly in cutscenes. It's now literally a part of us, though, so... I'm I don't think we should keep them waiting. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. Okay. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. It's no problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. 
I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Uh oh. Oh no! Wait, is this My where it's gonna come back to bite me? I wonder. Too much so okay. In fact, I I don't I think so. Nothing like really bad happened, you know? Like. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, that's pretty bad. How can we not view that as something personal? Mm -hmm. When they destroy our sacred sites, also how that. can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Hoping because that you'll fight. To fight. Exactly. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. You're welcome. We'll be at the meeting, and as one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Okay, keep the peace. We are so good at keeping the peace. Instagram meme made me laugh so hard this morning. Oh my gosh, that red that Red Dead Instagram account is so funny. I tried to avoid it because I feel like it gets into spoiler territory. Um, but it's so good. You're the queen of that, doing everything exactly clean and without serious harm occurring to many people in the situation. That's what I do best. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Hello. Easy. We trust a killer now. Kola with Yampi. Hilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. Watch out. This way. Are we like riding right up or are we kind of hanging in the wings? How's this going down? I mean, not going down. Nothing's gonna go down here besides, you know, peace, but... I mean, like, vantage point. Not vantage point. Wait. Okay, not that I need it, but why can't I just grab a gun from... Okay, you know what? We probably won't need it. That's the, uh... That's the good part of all of this, is... Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're, uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting-looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Mm -mm. Well, I should No hope not. trouble yeah. here. Listen, Mr. Uh, <coughs> I don't uh, have a use. Thank Chief. you so much for the follow. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, Quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... <coughs> Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Oh, jeez. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. 
or attempt to, he's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. But removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. I, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout. Get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Okay, I'll I can't you. I can't figure out how to let him go. Okay. okay. Listen. Okay, nobody needs to get hurt. Captain Monroe, we had to. Oh! I can't shoot these men. Oh, come on, Ray. Here come all of them. Red, please hold your fire. You like it. Put it between his bastard eyes. Hold your fire. I'm holding. I I did fire a couple, but for the most part, I'm holding. Oh! Okay, we get off now. Not the bolt action. What do I use here? What do I use here? Kind of like, I think I used the Springfield mostly, right? Okay. My bad, my bad. What's our plan here? Find a love and make for the valley. Nobody's I knew this was a mistake. No, you don't know. You don't know what I know, sir. It's okay. This is where you get out of this go so wrong. Listen, I'm not gonna say that's it. this is a normal occurrence here. Oh, of course I hit the rock. Can we like move from this spot? Okay. I also haven't hit anybody in a little bit. Don't. They're trying to surround us. I, 
I know, and I'm not hitting anything, but I just need a chance, sir. Now or never. Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're with me. Oh, get on my horse. Hop on, Captain. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to this. Okay, that was pretty awful shooting, at least at the end there, but I really wasn't gonna try to kill anymore. Okay, I don't wanna hurt the animals, but, oh, I actually can't shoot right now, okay. You got it, Charles! I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been Arthur, an tell him my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? Well, <coughs> oh, shoot. We'll do it Dang we it. I went too, too I... far. <coughs> Don't cough on him, Arthur. <coughs> Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh, Brother nice. Dawkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but... I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is 
nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Bye, sister. Line Mall, thank you so much for the follow. TKR Bones, thank you so much for the follow. Yang, thank you so much for the follow. And one Tata Tatanka, thank you so much for the Oh Man, they have just been sprinkling onions everywhere all stream it's just really starting to be <laughs> exactly yeah somebody in here somebody in here fess up gosh darn onions and seasonal allergies and <sighs> okay I don't know. What do you guys think? Little date with Sadie on Valentine's Day? That'd probably be nice, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Those big fat Vidalium onions. I knew it. From a mile away. Okay, that's like me, I didn't do nothing, I swear. Keep clear. Official business. Somebody help me. Okay, the last time that I went to help somebody, I actually let the bad guy go. Hey there, mister. What you think you're doing? I don't doubt it, but that don't make you innocent as far as I can see. Okay, it's all right. Hey there. We're gonna get in our hey there's, get our honor back up. Okay, actually, once I get here, I kinda do need to use actual roads, so. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh. Hi there, pupper. Hey, you there. Tell what? Me what the hell you're doing here? Oh, just Calm cutting through, down. sir. Didn't realize that was such a problem. Okay. Yeah. Sadie rocks big time. Might even be my favorite character in this game. Sadie is awesome. And I've been trying to convince her this whole entire time that she should just love me and we can live happily ever after. And it just doesn't seem to be sticking. Yeah, I guess I'll there, down Mr. one of these days. Hi. That's a strong looking horse. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that is a really strong looking horse. What the heck? Way. Okay, Arthur. Rude. Have a nice rest of your V-Day. Gotta go. Oh, bye, Samus. Have a good one. You crying kind of brought tears to my eyes, too. The, the past, like, this game hasn't gotten me until the past couple of streams, and then it's just been, like, waterworks. Sonic, thank you so much for the follow. I would ring Sadie in my top five characters ever. Yeah, she is awesome. All right, I'm gonna slow and then I'm gonna say hi. She doesn't look like that. Hey, partner. Hey there, partner. That's a nice horse. Thank you. Anyway, 
All the best. I love all of our compliments are just like, yo, that's a nice looking horse. That's a strong looking horse. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't, um, I can't make a final call. Oops. Can't make a final call until I get to the end of this story, but the Witcher 3 main story ending was just like, hey, mister. uh, I, I go back and rewatch my own VOD and just like ball like crazy. Hi there, ma'am. Okay, guess we don't get to say hi. Bonjourno. Ooh, I feel like at some point we will have to set aside some time and uh, try to find Gavin. Is something wrong with you? Sorry. Sadie in here. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on. Here Let's I go. am. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today it is? is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so. Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. Okay, we this is not really the Valentine's Day this? date I would oh, I had in mind, but um. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Come on. Um, well, don't we just I'm pretty look sure this is called we'll impersonating a police officer and is against the law, so... On and our wits about us. Okay. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Jeez. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You that lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Right, then. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever mm -hmm. do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all Maverick, so thank you now, so much for the follow. This doubting and questioning of yours, I've missed the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hmm. Does appear that way. Hey. Asate, thank you so much All for right. the call. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. Yeah. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. Ooh, did they recognize us? What are they pointing at? I don't know. 
We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. Mm -hmm. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Let's go. Quiet. Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. On the roof. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find yep. a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. Get him and do it silently. Silently well, I'm gonna do it silently. is what I, I do best. best. So explain. we are the right man for the job. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Okay, silent from here on out. Easy peasy. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Oh god. Okay. I thought I thought I could make the jump. Okay. Let me let me look for something else. Maybe the open doors. <laughs> okay. From here on out. Silent. Uh-oh. Oh goodness. Silent. Up here. Aha. Give me away, dude. Thank you so much for the follow. For a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. 
This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy, but it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Okay. I, I'm just Almost gonna... May God, in his infinite wisdom, have I don't mercy think I can watch this. your soul. Whenever you are ready. Oh, I just can't watch it. Okay. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh, jeez! Oh! What? Is this one? How did I miss that? For good measure. Okay, they didn't accurately capture the bullet hole that was that was through his neck, but it's it's fine. How you get on, Arthur? Well. <gasps> And we saw the bastard hang okay, but <laughs> no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I from know who? it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest Jack, of dreams. Jack, thank you so much for the follow. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. 
for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. see the photograph. <laughs> oh my god. Look at young Arthur. I can't. I just can't with that. <laughs> what a day to choose. I know, getting dumped on Valentine's Day? Really, Mary? You're gonna do us like that? Dang. That's, this is pretty darn cute. Like, how old do we think he is there? Like, 16 or 17? It's cold. Okay, Mary. We, we see you for who you are. Dang. It's just rough. That that's all we're trying to say. Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Touch seems. To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. I got you, Abigail, but you're still a cheater in dominoes. And for that, I will always remember. Okay, we had started like a little dialogue with uh, the Reverend. Oh, maybe we'll say you hi think to Tilly. That apple would make things better? Hi, Tilly. Just, I don't think Molly could have told him that much. If she told them where we are, that's enough. True. Mm hmm. Well, try to keep your head straight. Don't know what to do with myself around here. I'll just hang out for now. Um, I don't think that outfit's hey gonna mend fences. You sound okay. like you've given think up. everybody can chill know. with the outfit. Maybe I have. Twenties, no. you think? We gotta see this through, John. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Be strong. Okay, I don't actually know where the Reverend is here. Hmm. Hey, Jack. These are gonna be okay, Jack. Can I go play in the caves? No, I ain't safe in there. Definitely not safe there. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, sure. Go! Oh! Jack's like, yeah, whatever. I feel like maybe he's sometimes up here. The camp really, you can just tell, like, there just feels to be, feels like there is less, like, it's not even hope, but, like, just like hustle and bustle, like people sort of doing their chores and their activities. Like everybody just seems really sad. Like the family is is splitting apart. Like you you just you just feel it, you know? Okay, what's E F? Eagle flies. Dutch has convinced Eagle flies to take action against the military. Okay, well we should see if we can stop that. Yeah, ex yeah, like no enthusiasm. Like, it's not like a lot of the people that were here previously were doing, you know, a whole bunch, but at least they were, they were walking around and they were, 
they were singing and it's hot and delicious and all you're gonna get come on <laughs> like okay pearson sure just sort of like meh Boy. after that the camp on the lake had the mo most joy i totally agree and so far that has been my favorite spot um my personal favorite spot compared this to the camp after Sh sean was saved yes and i know that we kind of did like the big celebrations and everything like wait is there there's like a back way out of the camp um come on yeah but we don't have like too many celebrations here or anything like that, but just something that that brings everyone together. Um, just drinking and singing and like songs about, you know, the old times together. Um, yeah, just as As we've been getting into more, not even more trouble, well, kind of more trouble, like as people from the group have been dying and everything, yep. like, that's certain, I guess, people within your family dying, like, that's not a very great situation and would definitely put a damper on things, but like, Okay, what do we think? Hey there, help a lady out, will you? When I get out of here, I'm gonna kill the both of you. You're starting to rob me now, lady. Oh. You wish you never touched nope. me. Okay. Bitch all day. Okay, see, yeah. the thing is, I wanna let you go, but last time I let somebody go. Well, I'm go I guess I'm going this way, anyways. Let's listen in a little more. Okay, last time I let somebody out of one of these and he literally was a toe eater. So I don't know what to believe anymore. Is there a way to just like shoot the lock off? Okay, you actually just can't shoot what? I was trying to shoot the lock. No way. Wait, am I wanted or not wanted? I mean, I think it was already wanted over here anyways, but like... Okay, listen. I'm just shooting the lock. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. You can do this. Okay, hold on. Nope. And that's where I draw the line. I don't know what happened there. Are you okay? Oh my god, do you have a bullet hole in you? Oh, shoot. Okay. Listen, next... I got a plan. I got a plan. You're okay. You're okay. God, I have taken your friend. Okay, just kidding, it, it let go of him, but. Okay, hold on, hold on. Maybe I can drive this away. I'm actually gonna die. Okay, okay, see what I was thinking was gonna happen there is if I could have got it up and running before I had to, I just didn't want to kill 
any of the lawmen and I wanted to set her free. And I definitely thought that was what was gonna do it. Um, I still don't get the $150. Like every time we gotta, we gotta, um, oh, but maybe, maybe no, no bounty though. It's looking like a pretty thick double red line. Mm -mm. Okay, you know what? That's okay. We're just gonna swing. We're just gonna swing into Valentine real quick and uh, just pay off Back that pesky want. little. Idiot. So that's not good. You just want to believe in people. And when she was like, can you please save me? Like something felt like I could just real quick shoot the lock off, but maybe it's got to be at a dead stop before you can shoot the lock off. I don't know. <laughs> the health insurance co-pays of the old West, 150. Seems a little steep, but uh... I suppose that could be true. Well, what are you gonna do? Hello. Hey, partner. Oh, oh god. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, hi. Hey, mister. I've had better days, that's for sure. You'll survive. Calm down, we. Okay, is this not a good conversation? Okay, no. Let's just keep going. Oh, you gotta aim for it. I was actually really nervous there that uh, I was gonna accidentally hit and kill her. Yeah. Wait, is this... What's this over here? It's this, right? Okay, yeah. Sorry. It's been a while since we've been to Valentine, you know? Um, I could probably use some, some ammo. That's probably what it was. When I went to go shoot the lock off, I was probably using the wrong ammo. Hi, move. Hi there, mister. What I meant to say was, hi there, mister. Okay, let's just chill out, everybody. Okay, how about we all chill out? Um, the dead eye for locks, I would maybe, I would maybe be okay for that. So then all you're really doing is like allowing the person an opportunity. Like if they're really innocent, they'll run really fast, you know? Hey there, mister. And if they're not so innocent, they'll be like, nah, whatever, I'll just... Yeah. So many red dots. <laughs> Guessing just snakes and stuff. Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry. That was that was right into the cactus. That was my bad. Miss the really big bridge. Yep. It's almost back. Yeah, just 
say I'm gonna get back up. This is actually a really good horse, though. You're wearing that by choice. Yes, it is my look, okay? Everybody recognizes me. <laughs> my horse is so dirty. Okay, we're gonna do this. Brush off the horse. You're welcome. How do you do? Oh, Nothing I've like been better. Star. A five and a ten? Where did this come from? I hope you understand that I was set up, but uh, you know. You know. You know the drill. Oh, dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around, that's all. Anyway, how can I help you? The flu? Good day to you. Good day to you too, sir. Almost rode him to death. No, it was fine. Just needed a break in there somewhere. Okay. And then give you a little brush clean off oh my god so dirty what the heck there we go and then we'll hey, cut boy. Right, boy. Good horse. yeah good horsey okay into town we go bye pupper Jesus, haven't seen anything this pathetic outside a dime discount cat house. Excuse you? Looking at you so offensive, I may just have to do something about it. I'm just passing through, Fran. Not looking to bother anyone. Nope. Rube! Oh! You set me up! Any more tankers? Hold on, sir, sir. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, I need a lawman. Hey, oh, hey. You're making this ain't a discussion. Calm down. Don't make this difficult. Do not make this difficult, sir. Okay, now the dog is telling on us. Okay, sir. Sir. If you tell on me, I will find you. I'm gonna let you go, and we're all just gonna be cool, calm, and collected, okay? I literally just paid off my bounty. Not today. Not today what? Why are you still running? Why are you still running? Okay, good. I tried them. Hey there, puppy. Praise and pat. Look at this. Would somebody that's so good with animals do all the things? <laughs> He's good. He's good. All right. The, the whole running thing made me a little nervous, but I guess he's all right. All right, I gotta go get some ammo, puppy, okay? But I'll talk to you later. Howdy. How's it going? You look a damn fool. Ain't weird. nothing to worry about. It's called personal style. Hey, uh, look it how up. Are you doing? Well then. All right. No. Well. No. Well, what the now. heck? I spent two seconds just trying to make a friend, and oh my gosh! All right. Well, guess I'm here to the morning then. He's mean to me, and then costs me being able to go to the gunsmith. I will use an iron on you if you decide to wield them fists again. You keep them to yourself. 
Or where does I don't know. From here? I, need I don't know what you're talking Hurry about, up. sir. I feel like you have me confused with someone else, though. Okay. Don't I need those. Um... Honestly, I like using the pistol the best. Um, I'm not missing a lot. I'll pick up those. Okay. All right. Now, Come on, why don't you I would like to clean my. I'm looking forward to testing this out. My 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 shots been a little off. Um. So just want to run through the Beautiful guns. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. They're clearly a little bit dirty, which is why Good. my aim has no been a little of off. Rust on that, as far as I can see. Ah, uh, see, there you it was. Just like, like I told child, you guys. Right? Good on you. Sure. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. Awesome. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on oh, you. Oh, and there Good. it is. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as it far makes... as I can see complete Beautiful sense condition. now what up. happened in the uh good Ain't in the no fight with charles and everything bolt action oof beautiful condition bad. keep it up what's this good beautiful. ain't no trace of rust on that as far as Auto. i can see you keep treating good. that like your own child all right good on you double barrel what's this little thing mean Good. Okay. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. Let me auto. Oh, there goes everything. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I will, sir. Hold on. Uh, I think there's some guns that I need to clean myself for some reason, so I think I'll pick up some gun oil. If that's around here somewhere. Appreciate it, sir. Oh, I'm real excited to try this. Bye. Bye now. Where was that? Someone put you up to wearing that? Um, no, and I'm busy at the moment. I, I believe I heard somebody needs help. I don't know where it came from, but... Good morning, friend. Good morning. All right. Let's give... We want some celery? Boy. <laughs> Say Russ again and I'll make myself a time machine. I keep... They're all in very, very good condition, sir. I don't know if you noticed, but, like, only two of my guns were, like, a little dirty. I feel like I've never seen anybody in here before. Hey. Morning. Good morning to you. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Maybe we should ask him about, you know, the being in the cemetery well, thing. Good luck to you. Take care now. Okay, way to read the room, Arthur. I swear. Just has absolutely no social skills. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to ask that guy if he's okay, like what's happening, but no. Are you kidding? People are dying to get in there. Okay, I see you faceless. Oh, hi. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't say hi to you, but... Okay, we gotta go stop this thing from going down. And <laughs> we thought those wolves were insensitive. Nah, no, they knew. They knew before we knew. Here? Uh, 
<laughs> hey, listen. This is not a good idea. Regardless of what the cutscene is gonna say, not a good idea. So good of you to join us. What's going on? <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> exactly. Smell of cordite and integrity. It they were rusty. It wasn't me. We do it. An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is, your plan. <laughs> it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Okay, if this is a little prank, why do we have dynamite? I just think a lot of things could go Besides, wrong. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys they won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and Dutch, avail Dutch, Dutch. over another. These are good people, but... <laughs> That's just a little dynamite. You're still complex. playing on medium? We ain't There's helping. difficulty settings in this game? Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. What? All right, pick this up. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Not Hurry, Arthur. Yeah. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. Oh, the graphics. I did turn everything up last stream. There are a couple of things that I still... I'm like, I don't know how really important these things are that I left on medium, but maybe, maybe Tuesday stream. I'll turn everything up. Oh my gosh, I missed a couple. Uh, Siha, thank you so much for the follow. Thigo, thank you so much for the follow. And Michael D1, thank you so much for the follow. As long as it looks good. Yeah, hopefully this looks good to you guys. It should be on like ultra settings for the most part. So, you finally got to see Calm Hank. Uh, with the exception yeah. of some of the ones where I was After like. All those years. Hard to believe. I don't think I need to be able to see oh, but it was worth the wait. like see? things floating We're in the air, you know? One by one. Yeah. Okay, this like couple of sticks of dynamite. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Yeah, couple of sticks of dynamite just became six across like six different trees, so Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Okay, I know I just helped. Oh, what is this? That's pretty. Okay. Over here, Arthur. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't I think... worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. 
Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. I feel like if it gives me a choice, then I'm not gonna do okay. it. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, though. What? Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Oh. Your friends fired first, soldier! My father won't be happy about this. Uh. First, son. Hey! Defeat the patrol! Why? There's another patrol in the rear. Looks like we got a fight there, boys. We're the you started this. Shoot. Look out. They're coming up on our left. There. Oh gosh. Is there more down here? You fools, you damn fools, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you! Take what you can! And then we move out! Move now! We have to move now! I mean... Oh. That's a good find. Okay. Oh! What about my horse? Search these men quickly. Then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. Okay, we I do see the whole checking for ID and documents and I that sort so of deal. Much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. <gasps> oh! Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down. We're gonna get out of there. You need to get on the U.S. I just shot him in the groin. Okay, I wasn't. I wanted to do the thing. Damn, they're sending riders from the fort. We need to leave. But where's Peta? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just. I'm worried about folk. I know. I 
We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. We, we need to check on him. Okay, there's a lot of them coming from this way, so I was hoping he was gonna be like right over the top, but in a few was we not the leave. case. Now, okay. What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. This ain't it, Dutch. Left here, into the trees. What if Eagle Flies okay, didn't make it out? Let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. And try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Gah! Flee. Let's see if we can lose him down here. Okay. It's done now. Shit. I guess not. Get behind. Okay. 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 Alright, are we going up or down? Oh boy. I hit a horse, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, I feel sick. Wait a minute. No. Behind us. Hold them all. Ain't no getting out of this. Run, look here. This is a losing battle, Arthur. Oh, we've got a goose. Let's drill these. You're dead. I mean, I don't know how much longer we can hold out. I'll hold them here. Move. We're being able to run. Get out of here. I don't know. I think we can do it, Dutch. This is it. This is Well, Arthur. Put your hands up. I said put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. I'm Hello. done. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Back come up. here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. 
I see that. Now, it's waste. We can't fight nature, Captain. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. Jump! My bare head! No! Okay, we're fine. my hat <laughs> the bear head probably okay. smelled really bad anyway let's face it it, it needed a little okay. bath time uh, what a mess <laughs> i know but a mess is what we need oh we just escaped from chaos eagle flies must have been taken taken or killed well we can't go find out no not now charles I'll... we'll send them. Uh, where is it? <coughs> We're probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. My bear hat. What are you thinking, Ray? Oh, it's so hard because I just I don't trust like Dutch clearly did not care about Eagle Flies there at all. Um and even though he was trying to like weasel his way around it, he still was willing to put a like a young impressionable like fired up and passionate like kid was willing to use that to create this diversion and then have them take the fall for it like that's that's what's bothering me the most right now and i know from some of the other like cutscenes and stuff we've seen that dutch has kind of gone like off the rails with a with like not a lot of respect for like who goes down um like who gets killed along the way and stuff you know yeah exactly like in right there for instance like uh i personally was choosing to let like, I wasn't going to blow the dynamite up, even though the game forces you to, like, set it up and everything. Because I had the option to do the plunger or not, like, I wasn't going to do it. And then for Dutch to just, like, he's he just has his, in his mind, like, this is what we're going to do. And then doesn't really take... Uh, doesn't really take, um, advice from others or suggestions from others or, hey, we should not do this because these are, like, freaking kids and, like, this isn't our war to fight. It's, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. He He's missing what it is that we as a group need to do to be able to... 
get to a place where we can like wipe the slate clean. Like all we need to do is just get out of here. What we don't need like this big diversion and like get the army mad at the Indians. Like it's just like, what we don't need all of that. We need to focus on ourselves, do something to just get out of here. Yeah, right. There's no no social conscience and seeing opportunities to be manipulative and like jumping at those opportunities. Again, like Eagle Flies is he's he's angry. He's obviously like how many of us have had that point in our lives where our parents have like They've tried to like bestow wisdom on our on us and like we just kind of don't want to hear it and then take other advice from other people, whether it's our friends or whatever. And like Dutch saw that opportunity that Eagle Flies was like angry and wanted to do something about it. And his father was saying like, no, like regardless of what happens, like we're not going to fight. We're not doing this like. Yes, and I totally agree. Like, Hosea dying was deaf. You could tell that was, like, a big one. He weirdly did not really care that much about Lenny. Like, it was kind of just the secondary, like, oh, yeah, Lenny died too. And then John being at the, the uh, penitentiary, like, you're an awesome girl. Love the walk through happy valentine's day hey pian happy valentine's day to you too yeah yeah tahiti or australia are gonna solve all of our problems apparently though yeah this sort of stuff hits close I had a friend who didn't listen to anyone oh gosh faceless that's awful and it's like yeah lenny deserved better so many people along the way deserved so much better but dutch just has this like if you're gonna be the leader of a group of people and multiple times now you've come into situations where you are losing people that you have called your family based on like your ideas and your crazy plans and everything and then getting like he's gotten involved with the wrong people and that's what happens at um, the trolley station, the bank with Molly, like he just puts trust into people that aren't his family and then bad things happen. Like if he just listens to Arthur there and is like, li like, let's not get these kids involved in this situation. He sees everyone as dispensable, which then is weird because then he's like, I'm just trying to get my family out of here, but does like does he though or does he just want to get himself out of this situation because the choices that he's making are like the choices that he's making does don't really make sense if he's trying to get his whole family out alive he they're they're dropping you know i think dutch suffered a concussion something definitely went down with dutch and he might be having like a mental episode or something i don't know what's happening but but yeah intention and ability to think through the outcomes are not necessarily associated that's true and also, I think he's missing the reflection piece. Like, after there is something really bad that happens, he doesn't take the time to be like, okay, what did I just learn from that situation that I should not do again? Like, oh, I was talking about this earlier. The whole, the whole thing with the grays and the Braithwaites and we're gonna try to get them against each other and we're gonna sabota sabotage both and then try to make th the other one think that the other did it. He's, he's rinse and repeating with this here. Like, oh, 
Um, the apologies, I called them Indians before, but the Native Americans and the army, like he's doing the same thing. Oh, let's get the other ones to like be mad at the other. Yeah, right. He, so it's just the same thing twice. And it's like, okay, how about you think about what, like, did it happen? Did it work out the last time? No, because like... Sean died, you know. Dutch has always been destructive, but now he lacks Jose and a few. Yeah, some, right, people that he would actually, like, listen to, maybe. So now the the snowball, like, where Hosea before was maybe able to, like, rein it back a little. Now that he's not there, like, Dutch isn't listening to anyone. Or he's being, like, He's being encouraged by Micah as well, um, which is just like sending the snowball, like momentum is picking up and like worse and worse things are happening quicker. Yeah, except Micah. Except <laughs> Dang, Micah. Okay. Uh, I have a meeting in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna stop here for today. Um, <laughs> I know literally in my stream title, I have that we're doing the Micah mission and then that was, I didn't do it this whole entire stream. So sorry, that was my second lie today. The first one being that I wasn't wearing any pink and then my socks are pink. So that's my bad. Um, uh, boss. Boston Dan, thank you so much for the follow. Rudes, thank you so much for the follow. Butter Hans or Hands, thank you so much for the follow. And Ronan Pris, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so I super duper promise Tuesday stream, I will definitely I'll get to the Micah mission. Um, even though I'm gonna start with the Charles mission, but that's okay. Um yeah. Okay. We're at 65.2%. I think we we do a percent. I think we get to 66.2. Or do I go to 66.5? No, I'm going to be safe and say 66.2. All right. Let's see it. Oh, I just, I had a feeling. I knew it. I knew in my soul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's it was in my gut and it just wanted to come out of my mouth and then my brain got in the way man i can't my my heart was telling me yes 66.5 do it and then my brain stepped in per usual <laughs> it's a record breaking pro honestly i have not I don't think I've gone up that high in a single stream in a very, very long time. <laughs> really not the best way of putting that. Record breaking progress. True. Have a good, hopefully efficient, quick. I know, I, I certainly hope so, Pachu, because any more meetings that could have been emails, especially on the weekends, are just like, oh, just hits you in the core, you know? Just hits you where it hurts. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Look at the bright side. You can use the exact stream. Co copy paste stream title. Perfect. My body, my body was telling me no. Right, you legend. Twitch plays all day while I work. You have made my work at home day very productive. Hey, Will, I'm so glad to hear that. Good, good. Oh, <laughs> I know it was it was close, Faria, but I would have been so sad. Okay, what am I doing here? Um, I'm quitting out of the game. Quirk. Oh, I want to spend some of my Valentine's Day with Quirk and Debbie, so I think I'm going to send us that way. Uptown Murda, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, you guys, um, as you continue on to 
the the world beyond on your Valentine's Day. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. Um, I still have my nighttime meetings as well. So I've been saying 8.30, but it ends up being closer to nine. So I think I'm just gonna say 9 p.m. EST. I know we get into like really unfortunate um, time zone times during the week, but Hannah. Oh, Hannah has a new cat. My Valentine has not responded. Oh no, Shasha. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, but is it red or is it just delivered? All times, yes, all times are with an ish, like a 9 p.m. ish. But um, yeah, okay, so before, I don't have receipts. <laughs> Gotta get those receipts. Okay, well, I'm pulling up Quirkstream. Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for not only spending your Sunday here, but your Valentine's Day here. My cookie is down to, okay, why did I eat the cookie like this? Okay, why did I eat the cookie? Oh no, double Ray, double Ray. Um, like right in half, what am I doing? And then I, and then I wonder about my life. Oh my God, we got double Ray. Look at this, we talking with your hands like this? I know, you're a mess. Okay. Oh God. It's, it's Rayception. Sticky keys, no. Okay. Uh, how do I, how do I get to the people? Where's Quirk? Okay, I see him now. Um, is Ray Italian? I'm, no, no Italian at all, but even, even in real life, people tell me that my, like, my animate, my animated self, like, I think my face gets a lot of people. It's like the eyebrows and like the, a lot all the time. Um, BJL, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. Oh, what am I trying to do here? I'm trying to thank you for Valentine's Day here and then the half like broken in heart thing. I was like flabbergasted at myself. Thank you guys so much. Um, there was like two, again, second, second day in a row. Too many gifted subs, too many donations. Thank you guys all so much for the follows. Um, this stream, we passed 2200 follows and then went crazy above and beyond so we're like we're now over the halfway mark to 2300 which is pretty crazy um <laughs> what is a valentine day it's a it's a day of eating cookies and drinking boxed wine to yourself and thinking about how you got here it doesn't have to be sad but sometimes it is so Okay, I'm gonna send this over to uh, Quirkatize. He is playing Satisfactory. Um, I feel like a lot of you probably know him already, but if you don't, he is, he's the best people and uh, awesome to hang out with and be around. And I hope you consider joining us over there. Um, with that, I think that was all I was gonna say. Oh, if you haven't already, I'm gonna put a plug in right now. Um, I posted a new video up on my YouTube. It is my very first time in Red Dead 2 playing poker and also meeting the Reverend and saving him from a train eventually. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that, that's up on the YouTube now. Um, what else do I have? I think that's it. I hope you have an awesome rest of your Sunday, an awesome start to the week. Mondays are tough, but you are tougher. I feel like I've heard that somewhere. I probably wouldn't make that up myself. Um, is that it? You have cookies. Heck yes, I have cookies. Oh, these are the ones I was telling you about before it goes all on my keyboard. It has like a ton of those little sprinkles that you would use on like Christmas cookies, you know? Oh gosh, time time's running out. Okay, have a good one, bye.
we do a merger. Hey, Ray. A Ray raid. Ray raid. Thanks for the raid, Ray. And thank you for your very kind generosity to the Humane Society. Now, welcome everybody. I am just doing, I normally stream iRacing and, and then uh, past month, been a lot of hours of this too. 